Hello Agent of Doubt, out Hoopla here, creating a video in response to your ramble on gravity. I wanted to share my opinion because I am also an atheist and I saw gravity opening night and I've dragged a few other people to see it since then. I really liked it and I didn't see the um, religious components as harmful for me from you know, my atheist perspective. I saw it as storytelling of hope. And I know that it's you can very easily make a uh, argument that it's lazy storytelling if you have to use, you know, religious symbolism for hope. But I think that that was what they were doing and it didn't affect my viewing. It. Huge caveat, I am a big space buff of and that, you know, I can probably excuse more or the you know movie's faults that I didn't even notice anything was wrong the first time I saw it with like the science I was just that tightly engrossed but getting back to the atheism I and when I watched it I was seeing you know the storytelling of hope and there was some very practical physical realities when Sandra Bullock's character hit, you know, her you know, arguably one of her lowest points and saw George Clooney again. There is such a simple explanation for that, you know. So at that point, her brain is so oxygen starved that it's going to be producing bang faulty data. Uh, that someone I know. Uh, went through a near-death experience where they believe they had an out of, actually out-of-body experience and you know when I hear that to me it's just a very simple thing of understanding that yes your brain was working at full speed and all of a sudden didn't have enough oxygen and to you know, produce dependable layout results back ah, excuse me I'm very good beginner uh, uh, so at that point, then you know the vision that she had can take place. Funny thing is, I did actually see it my second time with one of my very good friends, who's also an atheist, but he studied film, so he saw it in, through a film criticism lens of you know very Christian iconic message that you know the biggest thing to him was in like the Soyuz when I saw uh, you know a um, Russian Orthodox a symbol of Christianity there. I'm not sure if it was St. Peter or if it was actually Jesus. You have to forgive me on that. Uh, but I saw that you know, as a hope, hope thing that, you know, equivalent to oh, you know, the Buddha on the uh, Chinese Shenzhou craft or even like George Clooney's happy-go-lucky attitude that, you know, I'm here, I'm going to do the most that I can while I'm here, and that, you know, Sandra Bullock's character rediscovering life of, you know, you know, she had begun with a uh, system of, you know, she had come up with her own system of trying to avoid life after suffering such deep pain, pain and that, in the end, she, I think that it was, she was convinced again that life was worth it and she started taking these huge risks to stay alive rather than, you know, simply accepting death and going along with it. it so that was actually my, my big discussion my friend and I had with, you know, his background in film, just having studied film in college, and I was you know, thinking that, you know, I think I, my argument with him was that I thought he was attributing Christian symbology where, you know, it doesn't necessarily exist. Particularly one of the things he saw Christian symbology in was the final scene after, and, uh, oh, another spoiler warning here, Sandra Bullock here makes it back to Earth. Earth that, you know, she's the capsule is sinking into the lake. I believe they filmed it at Lake Powell and then CGI it in extra plants. That he saw that 
as a very simple baptism analogy. Well, not necessarily simple, but you know, she went into the water, nearly drowned, drowned, and then came out, you know, having gone from a point of absolute mortal peril of, you know, the spacecraft was literally burning up around her from the, you know, from both the outside and the inside to, you know, the water nearly drowns her, but then she, you know, comes up through the water, uh, uh, after, you know, we have the convenient camera cutaway so they can deal without having to uh, show it how a spacesuit can come off that quickly that she doesn't die. You saw that as symbolism. When I saw it at first, I saw a shout out to the space program, the uh, second Mercury mission, you know, the second American space flight into uh, uh, the second American space flight ever was uh, astronaut Gus Grissom, who would later die in the Apollo 1 fire, unfortunately. Yeah. But he was there, and Liberty Bell 7 was the craft's name, and it landed in the ocean, and then there was an accident. The explosive bolts holding the door on blew without his uh, any input, so all of a sudden he was in a um, rapidly feeling steel sphere. He nearly drowned before he got out. I thought when I saw that, that that could very well be a call out that, you know, the directo Alfonso Curran Han might have just loved that story and, you know, I reson that story resonates with me and you know, the, the political aspects of it was, you know, blamed on, on you know, his inactions until another engineer proved that, hey, yes, explosive bolts the way that they're designed right now could accidentally fire when ba they're back in the atmosphere. So I think that that is a question of, you know, what are we going to attribute to the uh, uh, movie's choices to? And from what I was looking at it, you know, there was you know, there was a huge love of the space program and there there that the sheer detail of the ISS breaking up it held me spellbound um, and it was you know like I know that piece it was not the Columbus module no <laughs> oh you know just do that and I think that you know you make a good point being in a very heavily a fundamentalist area, you know, living in a place that focuses on the families, based that some people could see that and then all suddenly see the Buddha is the devil. That Sandra Bullock is going to hell now. Or <laughs> whatever. Or I just see it as a simple narrative shorthand for hope. So, I wanted to give you that opinion and see if that affected your viewing on that. That, you know, the, you know I think that it's simple to use that because you're talking about hope rather than using some cultural shortcuts for hope, you know, religion, and might have not come off as well, well on video. Alright, well, thank you for your ramble, and I want to stop this before it gets as long as your ramble. Oh, so thank you again. Bye.